What up players, it's Warbots Tay up in this mug, and I was able to finish my Ogre Bulls unit for my Ogre Battalion. Six Ogres uh, with two hand weapons painted up and ready for fighting. It took me the better part of the night to finish, but I was able to get through it, so I'm going to show you what I did and I want you to let me know what you think. I'm also going to post this video and pictures up on my blog. Pictures are super high def, really good on this camera, so go check them out. First, you've seen this guy already, my standard bearer, with the um, Sword Maiden of Talibheim on it. And um, did I do anything else with him? No, I still haven't painted the Lookout Noblar yet. But I just cleaned up some of the some of the highlighting and verdigris on on him. So he's pretty much the same as you've seen him from before. So let's get him out of the way. Next we've got our uh, sergeant or whatever whatever you call him. And I gave him this uh, totem for his back. So I decided to paint up his pants to look like he is. Uh, contracted by Talapheim, the red and white, to uh, fight as a mercenary in their army. I even gave him a crudely uh, tattooed twin-tailed comet, which I think is a fun little homage to uh, Sigmar. I really like how his, his eyes, his face came out, he looks really mean and gruff, and um, the plate to his head I kind of lined with purple and some dark reds to uh, to show that it was just like grafted onto the side of his face to uh, cover up an old injury. And um, I like how I kind of painted his eye to look like he's looking up into his left, like in this direction, almost as a kind of contemplating a little bit of what's going on. So, so this is really him from the front. And as you can see, he's not looking straight forward at you. He's looking kind of up into the, to his left. So I think that's a cute little, uh, cute little detail. He's holding a hammer, uh, like his, like his idol Sigmar. And he's got some bones and snacks for the long trip ahead. So my fluff is that even though they're um, ogres and they've got like a lot of the tattoos of the Great Ma and stuff, that they're still. Um, uh, that, that they've started to become more of a mercenary force and have started loaning their services out to the the armies of the Empire and maybe in doing so they find um, something more to fight for than, than food and money maybe, maybe not here's my bellower oh look at that mold line, I gotta clean that up a little bit didn't really see that when I was painting him up but that's a pretty bad mold line um, the verdigris effect, I love how the, the blue just kind of pops, the blue-green kind of pops against the very drab and dull color of the metals. So, really cool, really like that effect. Here's an angry bulldogish looking guy. Angry. Um, is he the guy that I painted up for my tutorial? I think he is. Okay, so you've I think you've seen this guy already. Yeah, that's the guy that I painted up for my War Boss tutorial. So let's go to guy number five. He's got the man trap, or the bear trap, for catching bears and men. He's also got a club. And um, his tattoo I decided to do is like a chain of teeth around his neck. Kind of like, um, you know, some people wear like shark tooth necklaces or, or you know, stuff like that. He's got his teeth necklace tattooed around his neck. The blood on the arms. Mm. Decorations on his legs. Yeah, I think the, the basing really helps to uh, make the model pop just because the gravel looks so brown and, and drab, even with the, the, the spattering of grass and flock. The uh, model, the colors on the model, pop really nicely. So, I'm very happy with that. Really simple gut plate. I think for the Iron Guts gut plates, I'm gonna be a little bit more ornate. I might actually paint them rather than um, just leaving them looking metallic. I might give them like some some paint color in there. Red and whites, maybe. 
since this is a mercenary force that seems to like Talapheim. And here's my Danny Trejo ogre. For some reason, I think the the face, the top knot, the um, Fu Manchu mustache, they all combine to give me the oh the, the baggy eyes with the, the dark circles under it. They give me the impression of the actor Danny Trejo, who um, you might know from his film Machete, or Machete, uh, which was a machete movie, I hear. He's got a slab of beef on his back, and um, that was painted with Talarn flesh and just a mixture of Ogren flesh and Devlin mud, and then dark flesh on the sides to be like the bloody rare parts. Uh, other than that, same as same paint scheme as the rest of the guys, but I just love the expression, the face, and I was looking at him, I was like, Danny Trejo, oh my gosh, I gotta give you a nipple tattoo, because you are awesome. Big fan, Danny Trejo, if you watch this video on how to, um, on ogres, then um, I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you for making awesome movies. So, there's my first six ogres, my unit of ogres, and, um, I'm really super excited about it. You can see the pictures up on my blog, www.warbostay.blogspot.com. And um, looks like next I might be going on to the lead belchers. I might be going on to the knoblars. It really depends on uh, you know how how wiped out I am by the time New Year's rolls around. So thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me and my work, everybody, and for leaving me comments. Don't forget to like uh, these videos and. All that other good stuff and um, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video